a lesson to be learned from this that I want to send out there to all red-blooded heterosexual males. Or anybody, actually. It doesn't even matter if you're heterosexual. Legitimately, this is a warning and an FAO to everybody out there. You could legitimately lose everything in your life for being too horny. Everything that you work hard for, everything you're striving to achieve, all the challenges you've kind of overcome in your life, personally, spiritually, physically, financially, you could risk it all just for being too horny. And that's a lesson you have to learn from this. Because Tory Lanez was invited to Kylie Jenner's house. This is where it started. It started at fucking Kylie Jenner's house. He was minding his business, wherever he was, in the studio, writing some raps, singing some songs, doing his thing. He gets a fucking FaceTime from Megan. Hey, Tori, I'm at Kylie's house. Why don't you come over and hang out? Right? And he gets so excited. Like, imagine, right? You're a guy, you're in the studio doing your thing. And then suddenly, Megan Thee Stallion's fucking FaceTiming you. And then Kelsey's in the background giggling somewhere. You can see Kylie in the back doing her little, you know, Instagram moves and whatnot. The pool, all these bottles of fucking Don Julio all over the place. She's like, whoa, I'm going to turn up. You jump in the flipping car in the Escalade and you zip right over there because you want to be involved. And your entire life from that moment on will never be the same. Just because you were too horny. Because it wasn't enough that Tori was fucking Kelsey. It wasn't enough that he was fucking Megan Thee Stallion. Because you have to imagine, Kelsey back then was Megan's best friend. And a lot of people would say on Instagram comments, oh, Kelsey's actually more attractive. Like, it was a thing, right? They were like this um, double trouble duo. They'd go around hot girl summer wearing a matching bikinis, stunting and looking crazy and amazing in these um, lavish Airbnbs and enjoying life, right? And Tori got to hit both. Not even... Megan Thee Stallion's already a W. Megan, having Megan Thee Stallion on your flipping list of conquest is absolutely incredible. Having Kelsey also, whoa! And also getting Megan after you fucked the best friend is absolutely insane. He won the lottery there. That's what you'd be like, you know what, I won the lottery, c'est la vie. But he got too greedy. Too greedy. Too greedy and he thought, you know what, there's, because I think he's even got a bar about her in his one of his raps, right? I'm pretty sure he's got it. Yes, let's see. Um, uh, Tori... Let's see. I'm pretty sure he's got a lyric about it. Tory Lanez, Kylie Jenner lyric. Something about her looking like a baby in a manger or something like that. Which is it's kind of strange. It says something like, yeah, she looked like a baby in a manger. Let me see. Uh... Oh, what is it? Okay, lyric. It's like baby in a manger or something. There we go. Let me see if it's a capital one extra. It's something like a baby in a manger. It's a very strange lyric. I can find it. Uh... Daystar blames the the WAP. Okay, where's the lyric? Come on, show me here. After claiming he's been, let's scroll down here. Da, da, da. Yeah, there we go. See, uh, here it goes. On the track, Queen and Queen and Slim. This is the lyrics. Me and Kylie still off in a pool. We was chilling, kicking shit was cool. Both of us didn't know you was tripping. Even though I got a crush on Kylie, I would have left with you if I knew you was dipping for the same reason. You invited me, but I can't act like sure it didn't excite me. I had took a wrong turn that night. Look at her, man. Look, that's the end of his life. That's the end. That's what caused all the drama. This lady. Another track. Sorry, but I had to. Lane says, like how that 1942 got from Kylie's house still got you talking crazy. Fuck a hell or a handshake from niggas. The past month, the energy been mad fake from niggas. I've been lifted up, bring saran rap talents gifted up. And if I don't drop this shit for a second, I'm back to pick it up. I'm unapologetically jumped inside a pool and Kylie's face was looking heavenly. <laughs> oh, imagine describing Kylie's looking heavenly. Bro, this lady is very attractive. I understand. But if this is not a lesson for all men out there, you have to you have to keep your composure. You cannot let the spirit of horniness take over you to the point where you're pulling out a strap and you're shooting girls in the feet, bro. You can't do that. You have to remain calm. Remain calm. Take the fingers. Even I'm susceptible to it. I knew that I was that guy. You have to take your thumbs away from the DMs. You have to retract yourself from the double tapping. You have to leave the comments alone and just relax. 
leave the ladies alone let them breathe leave them alone i know they look very appealing they look very desirable you want to flip and pour them into a bowl and eat them like groceries or cereal mix them with some oat milk <laughs> right put them in your shake like protein powder i know it's there it's possible but honestly tory lane's lost everything because he got too greedy it wasn't enough he was hitting kelsey and megan like i said before he hit the best friend then he hit megan Usually in, this scenario, in that scenario, if you hit the best friend, the, 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 the star is like, nah, I'm not touching you now because you're with my best friend. And she might even hot you up to the friend or might expose you to the best friend. But he was able to knock both down at the same time. And then he went for the Hail Mary at the end. And he lost everything. He lost everything. God almighty, man. Remain composed. Attention all men out there. Remain composed. Horniness will legitimately end your career and potentially end your life absolutely shocking state of affairs but yeah what can you do <laughs> anyways 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 anyways